people round the earth rejoice to God most high our sovereign King. Serve God with cheerful heart and voice with all your tongues God's glory sing. Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Monday, May the 19th. It's the fifth week in Easter and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 56, 57, and 58. And Matthew chapter 6, verse 1 through 6, and 16 through 18. Open my lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, be merciful to me, O God, for my enemies would swallow me up. Psalms 56, 57, and 58. Alleluia, be merciful to me, O God, for my enemies would swallow me. They fight me all day and oppress me. My enemies would swallow me, for there are many that fight against me, O God most high. When I am afraid, I trust in you, and I praise your word. I have put my trust in you. I will not fear what mere mortals can do to me. Every day they twist my words. All their thoughts are evil against me. They gather themselves together. They hide and mark my steps, because they seek to take my life. Shall they escape by doing evil? In your anger, cast down the people, O God. You tell my wanderings. Put my tears into your bottle. Are they not written in your book? When I call to you, my enemies retreat. By this I know that you are on my side, and I praise your word. I have put my trust in you. I will not fear what mere mortals can do to me. I am bound by the vows I made to you, and I will render praises to you, for you have delivered me from death. Deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before you in the light of the living. Alleluia, be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for my soul trusts in you. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge until troubles pass by. I cry to you, O God Most High, to you that performs all things for me. You will send from heaven and save me from the reproach of them that would swallow me. Send forth your mercy and your truth. I lie among lions who would devour us all, whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongues sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net to snare me, and my soul is bowed down. They have dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. My heart is fixed, O God. I sing and give praise. Awake, my glory. Awake, psaltery and heart. I myself will wake the dawn. I praise you, O God, among the people. I sing to you among the nations. For your mercy is great and reaches the heavens, and your truth to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be above all the earth. Alleluia, O powerful ones, do you speak righteousness? Do you judge the earth with equity? No, in your heart you devise evil, and you deal out violence to the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they are born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent, and they are like the deaf adder that stops up her ears, which will not listen to the charmer's voice, no matter how skillfully he charms. Break their teeth, O God. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, and let them melt as waters which run off. When you bend the bow to shoot arrows, let them be cut to pieces. As a snail which melts, let every one of them pass away, like the stillborn child that never sees the sun. Before they can put out thorns, take them away with a whirlwind. The righteous shall rejoice when they see the vengeance. They shall wash their feet in the blood of the wicked. 
and they will say, truly, there is a reward for the righteous. Truly, our God judges the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Be merciful to me, O God, for my enemies would swallow me. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you go, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they might be praised by others. Truly, I tell you that they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogue at all the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Defend us, O God, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. O merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Be merciful to us, O tender God, for we place our trust in you, and we will not fear those who oppress us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>